Hey everyone, it's Trojaxis, and I just woke up, but I thought I'd do an OBS tutorial on how to sort of just get it started, get your scene set up, maybe you want to start streaming or even just start doing videos. So I figured I'd just do a little quick tutorial on how to get it going. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously open up OBS. You're going to get this screen, and you'll probably only have this down here. Down at the bottom here where you see scenes, you're probably only going to have scene. So we're going to click in scene and you thing is you're not going to be able to see anything. This is what you're going to have is a black screen and if you're wondering what to do, uh, you're going to be right clicking and we're going to be adding things. This The sources are everything that's inside the scene. So we're going to right click and we're going to add whatever we want to add. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to that other scene and we're going to add a monitor capture so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So now that you can see what I'm doing, I'll show you what I did. I right clicked, add, monitor capture. Monitor capture, we can pick the name of it. And then on this screen, you can actually choose if you want monitor 1 or 2 and then click OK. I clicked num monitor 2 because that is the screen that I'm using that has OBS on it. So, I want to get my pretty face back in here. Well, let's right click on this horses again. Add a video capture device. Now, video capture devices could be multiple things. They could be, for instance, I have an Elgato Game Capture HD, which I use to get my Wii games or like onto my computer, things like that. It's a way to stream your, your console games. Um, but also webcams are video capture devices. You can have multiple webcams installed and you could you could put multiple webcams on here but I only have a Microsoft Livecam HD 3000. So as soon as this is open we'll just click you could use a chroma key if you were gonna do a green screen I don't I do not have one so I'm not gonna worry about that we're just gonna click OK. Now wow I am way too big on the screen we need a way to fix this now because that beard is just way too weird let's go down to edit scene now we want to make sure this is selected and then we'll just go up to our screen and click on the webcam you'll see there's a red line I'll try to make it so you guys can see this you see the red line that is what you use to resize it so you can click on the corner and as you can see you can drag us drag us down and let's just place yourself in the corner because we don't really need to be that big for this tutorial but Adam like I why can't I grab like onto the line here and, and shrink it like that's I want you know I don't want to have this filing cabinet in the corner and you shouldn't have that uh, vacuum hose in the background well the way to get around that is actually holding alt when you hold alt you can click on the line and crop your photo or your webcam here you go bam so now I'm sort of in a nice little square over here and you can see less of the crap in the background I think it's a cool thing. So remember, Alt. You can also be used for, like, if I, because my beard is scared of some people, we could do this and hide it. You hold Alt and you can drag from the bottom up. So it's a way to crop anything in your scene. You can also crop the monitor capture if I wanted to. So here, like, say I only want, I didn't want you guys to see the background of my computer, I could, I could do this. Now, be warned. If I if I accidentally then moved my screen, it would it would screw it all up. Now, like now, it's all screwed. So I'm just gonna uncrop everything by holding Alt and clicking and just dragging out. It'll only go back to its own size. You don't have to worry about going bigger than uh than it was. So now let's go to add the next thing in our scene. We have a video capture device and a monitor capture. Normally, you wouldn't have a monitor capture. Uh, you would have a game capture. So I'm going to use Witcher 3. Now, before you add the game, we're going to right-click, Add, Game Capture. Make sure you have the game open. If you don't have the game open, sometimes it won't find the game, and the game might not even show up. So just make sure you have the game open. Now, you can name it if you want. I'm going to leave it as Game Capture because it makes when I, you know, I know what that is. And uh, under here, it's going to ask me to select an application. And we're going to choose... Witcher 3, because I have it open. Uh, and I'm just going to click Stretch Image to Screen. If you had it as a different resolution, it would leave a little black border wherever. But uh, I have the the resolution set up in the game exactly the same as uh, it will be in my scene. 
So boom, the uh, the game is over top of our scene though, so I, I can't, you know, I can't I can't see anything with the game up there. Well, the way to get around that is down here. Uh, in the scenes, whatever is on top will appear on top. So as you see, if I move my monitor capture up, it's going to go over top of my video capture device, and now you can't see my webcam. So let's move this back up to fix myself. We'll go back down to where I last see now and move the game capture down. So I'm going to move it to the bottom and get rid of this monitor capture. Now you can see I'm in my in my game. So what I did there, I got the, the monitor capture back, is I just right clicked on the game capture and clicked order, move to bottom. That threw the game on the bottom. Now you can't see the game because my monitor capture is over top of it, just for the tutorial. Normally you wouldn't have that. And the video capture device is on the top because that's me. I want you guys to be able to see me, right? So yeah, that's basically how you would set up your scene base uh, for like a basic use and it would be ready to go then. Uh, you could add multiple other things like I have say uh, an image that I like to put in on my it's almost like a watermark that I use. We're gonna open it up and it's this Trojaxis gif that I made in Blender. See so I can actually do everything that I did to my monitor captures to my game captures. I can resize this I can put this, you know, in the in the bottom corner so that it, you know, it's like a nice little watermark. I can double click on it. I can change the opacity so, you know, it doesn't actually cover whatever's in my game. We can turn it way down. Click OK. You know what I mean? Just have a nice little watermark. You can do and anything you want. You can you can hold Alt. You can crop it so it doesn't, sh you know, it only shows half you can do anything that you want in this so i hope you guys learned a little bit about setting up your scene and uh yeah thanks very much if you want more tutorials please like and subscribe thank you very much guys take care